Here's another process a student team has built. We've got a small toaster oven being controlled uh, by a PID controller. Over here we see the temperature transmitter, We're measuring the temperature inside using an RTD. We also have a pulse width modulation circuit board that takes a 4 to 20 milliamp signal and pulses the heating element on and off. The control from the 4 to 20 milliamp signal comes from a loop controller though, so that loop controller is doing the PID calculations. Underneath here we've got a solid state relay that controls the power going to the heating element, so that PWM board simply pulses on and off, the relay switches the power on and off. So that's the process itself. What we're going to do now is head on over to the control panel where we can graph and show the trend variables. So looking at this right here, we've got our graph. In green we see the process variable, which is the temperature of the oven. The red I'm taking is the output. As we change the set point, we're seeing the process variable come up to a new set point value. Looks like a fairly high gain here. Yeah, about six. And your controller is right there? Seconds. Okay, cool. So looking at this, we see a gain of, yeah, about seven. Integral time, about ten minutes. Uh, good, good amount of time for this toaster oven. And uh, derivative time constant is one minute. Cool. And we're trending it using a data acquisition device, uh, gathering the data from the back of the controller in analog form and then displaying it here. So what's your next step? We're just kind of waiting for it to get to this reach set point. See okay. If it's going to overshoot or if it's going to slowly kind of glide in there. Okay. That's one thing on your trend display. We don't show set point because we don't have an analog set point voltage to measure. But we can look at it here. We can compare these two. Process at 330 degrees and set point 334. So we're within a few degrees of set point. And there's your output right there. Very nice. Nothing like throwing a $2,500 controller in a $10 oven. Makes for that's expensive. output. Is that that's yeah. a percent in output compared to a, exactly that's okay. a percentage output. It's not a one to five. I mean that's what over there we read. But. Exactly right. Yeah. So that's a in about, percent. About three. And that's going to convert into your percent duty cycle of that power. So if you're about sixty percent on, or I should say on for about sixty percent of the time and off for about forty percent, that turns into a PWM signal pulsing power to the heating element. And we're trending it there, doing our tuning.